13. Exclusive Royal Perks Prince William enjoys that we can only dream of. The days of monarchies and royalty are not over just yet, and today we will show you exactly why. Prince William enjoys several exclusive perks that we can all only dream of, from inheriting a fortune worth millions of dollars to being afforded special tax exemptions, the heir to the British throne certainly lives a privileged life compared to the rest of us. Number one, multi-million dollar income. Perhaps the biggest and most luxurious perk is the massive income the prince gets simply due to being the heir of the royal family. He became the Duke of the Duchy of Cornwall after the late Queen Elizabeth II passed away, and his father, King Charles III, ascended the throne. This title makes him the inheritor of the valuable estate, and he is entitled to its surplus profits every year. Valued at over a billion, the Duchy of Cornwall is one of the UK's largest and oldest estates. While Prince William earned more than $7.5 million in 2023, according to a financial report, this is only a fraction of what he could earn this year as the Duke of Cornwall. He only became the heir to the throne halfway through the last financial year. Due to the profits of this estate alone, the prince could earn over $30 million in 2024. Number 2. Royal Veto Power Being the heir, Prince William, holds royal veto power over any legislation passed in Parliament. This is also known as the prince's consent. If any bill directly has an impact on the royal family, they may request changes or exercise their veto power to withdraw their consent. This could be any legislation that may affect their authority, their assets, or their income streams. This power is barely ever used and is mostly ceremonial. Number 3. Round-the-clock security Being the future king, it's no surprise that Prince William receives 24 7 police protection. There is a special unit of the Metropolitan Police called the Royalty and Specialist Protection Unit created for this purpose. They accompany him wherever he travels by road to ensure his safety. They even monitor any place that the prince visits and make sure it is secure. During the famous royal events that are open air, snipers are deployed at strategic locations. His residences are also guarded around the clock, making sure there are no intruders. All this extensive security for the royal family which is funded by taxpayers, is estimated to cost up to 100 million pounds annually. Number four, exclusive properties. You must have heard of the Buckingham Palace in London. That is only one of several royal residences across the UK that Prince William has access to. The long list includes Windsor Castle in Berkshire, Balmoral Castle in Scotland, and Hillsborough Castle in Ireland. Imagine being able to live in any of these castles during your vacation. The Prince of Wales is currently resident at Kensington Palace in the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea in London. Number 5. Roles in the Church of England As the heir to the British throne, Prince William holds important ceremonial positions within the Church of England. While he does not have direct religious leadership, these ceremonial positions enable him to promote the church's role. However, he isn't seen as someone with a particular interest in this responsibility. Currently, the most significant Church of England position he has is as president of the Queen's School in Cheltenham, where he generally oversees the spiritual life of the school. Number 6. Long Holidays Prince William and Princess Catherine are both known to have a favorite perk. Unlike other royals, they have full control over their schedules. They can take months off, and the two love to take full advantage of this privilege. They are so fond of taking holidays that they take nearly 100 days off per year. Some royal experts have warned that it may be time to give it up. While past royal family members have done this as well, the Duke and Duchess do not want to be seen as lazy and unrelatable to the public. Number 7. Personal Aides and Staff the prince has access to a team of staff and servants to help him with his needs as well as those of his family. His private secretaries help him arrange his official schedule, correspondence with others, and his duties. The domestic staff helps with maintaining his home and the day-to-day -day needs of his family. As a member of the royal family, he gets significant taxpayer funding to cover all the costs related to his office and household staff. Number 8. Tax Exemption 
Members of the royal family are exempt from paying certain taxes. You already heard about the massive income the prince gets from the Duchy of Cornwall. All of that is exempt from any taxes. However, according to their official website, the prince voluntarily pays income tax on the estate. This follows the footsteps of his grandmother, the late Queen Elizabeth II, who was known for making voluntary tax payments despite not being officially required to do so. Number 9. Access to Top Secret Information Due to his important position, Prince William has access to national security briefings and other confidential government information. He gets occasional briefings from intelligence agencies about threats facing the United Kingdom. As the future king, this helps him prepare for the role he will have to play. He can choose to sit in cabinet meetings and request policy documents, even those that have not been made public yet. Number 10. Access to Restricted Areas Royal privilege includes being able to access places that the commoners cannot. As a public figure representing the crown, Prince William has access to restricted zones that are off-limits to others. This includes the VIP sections of airports, allowing him to travel without any security screenings and also avoiding large crowds. When traveling abroad, he is able to access off-limits sections of historical sites. You know those sections that tourists are not allowed to enter because of reservation? Well, the prince's status allows him to visit those areas. In addition to all this, he has access to government buildings like 10 Downing Street, the Prime Minister's office, and can also attend briefings in situation rooms. While going around London, his car may use blocked off roads or sealed tunnels to bypass the traffic. Number 11, freedom from jury duty. For a normal citizen of the UK, if you get summoned for jury duty, you must respond. You're made part of a jury to decide the outcome of a criminal trial. The service lasts around 10 days, and if you refuse to take part, you could be fined up to $1,000. However, as part of the royal family, Prince William is exempt from this and is able to skip jury duty altogether. Number 12. Personal Flag you may not know this, the Prince of Wales actually has his own personal flag. This is a long-standing tradition within the royal family for any senior royals. This flag is raised at any building or establishment where he is currently based. For example, it is raised at Kensington Palace in London, where he often resides. It is also raised on naval ships when he is aboard for travel. The unique do in the middle, as you probably guessed, stands for his name, William. Number 13. Food delivered right to their doors. Now this one is rather interesting. The prince and princess have the luxury of being able to order food and have their meals delivered right to their doors. This is not something that every royal has access to. The standard protocol is for other family members to collect food from the palace gates. That concludes today's video. How do you feel about all these special perks given to the Prince of Wales? Let us know in the comments. As always, don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button.